Hello friends, welcome to the 19th episode of Joomla 2.5 Custom Component Development Series. In the previous episode, we have seen, uh, we have created the basic CSS uh, for our um, chat form. So in this episode, we will see, uh, we will uh, add the data to our database. Okay. So let's um, check. Um, so for this reason, whenever somebody click on the send, we will send an Ajax request and uh, to a controller and we will save data to our database table so um, our table check so tables so in this table we will save the data so this is the table structure okay so now um, let's include the jquery in the front end so here we uh, need the jquery so we will use the doc syntax dollar doc add script jui root media slash com underscore open chat slash js slash so we have to include this jquery copy sorry close this one and we will include our css frontend frontend js sorry in where we will write the ajax code frontend.js save let's uh, already created so here we will write the um, uh, jquery code so var jq dot no conflict jq document dot ready function so if you uh, use the jquery no conflict so it will not problem uh, if you use the motul library also but because motul and jquery both uses the dollar that's why we are not using dollar okay so we will test whether the jquery is working or not save we have included the jquery and our frontend.js so let's go to the frontend section and refresh this page it's not working so let's check uh, the console not found I forgot that slash save one more time refresh this page jquery is not defined that should be small jquery I think uh, this one will be small let me check j jquery is not found that's why the problem also I have written so j query dot no conflict this one copy and use in your javascript okay so instead of dollar we can use the jq so let's save and go to the front end and refresh we're getting the alert box that means jquery is working so what we'll do when somebody writes something and um, click on the send we'll grab the value and send an ajax request so at first we have to detect when the user click on this button so let's check the button id so this is the button id like chat button so here 
will write one click chat button so jq document dot on click and in this id function alert you have clicked now let's go to the front end and refresh this page so if I click we can see click now we will grab the message value so uh, let's um, get the ID ID is message okay so let's declare a variable for msg equal to jq message dot val we can trim okay now alert msg save refresh this page write something click on the send oh Oh, we have written the button msg refresh write something click on the send here we can grab the values now we will send and request so where we will send some controller so in the controller we need to create a function so like here uh, we will create the function um, save chat save chat via Ajax okay now here we will receive the values like dollar message equal to J request get bar or get a string also MSG now we will get the user ID so dollar user id j factory get user id so if the user is not logged in then it will be zero otherwise it will be positive number so now just uh, we will echo this thing so dollar msg check dollar user id save uh, and we have to instantiate app j factory application and we don't want the uh, uh, template output so we just want this output no template so we will close the app so it will give only this output because we are, uh, later we will return some um, json data to chat message okay so let's test so when somebody will click here we will send an ajax request to that url so let's define a parameter object param blank object now we will specify uh, suppose uh, you have to access this url so how do you access so in the front end you will specify the ta task like in this way let me show you index.php sorry open chat and person task equal to this one so if I click here you can see if I pass the message msg here we can see the message okay so this URL I have to call so we are passing few parameter like option task okay so we will specify this uh, in params object so params dot option equal to com underscore open chat and sorry param dot 
task equal to sorry which one this one okay and also we will pass the message param dot equal to this value right so we have created our uh, param object which contains this one now we will send request so I will simply use the dollar um, post jQuery method dot post we are sending the request to index.php we are passing param object and this is the callback function and here we will alert so that we can see the response so response okay and uh, also we can do that uh, after completing ajax request we can clear this uh, text box but we will later do this now let's test this one so go to the front end refresh this page now if I open the console section here you can see the ajax request will when uh, the ajax request will go you can see so let's try hi this is test and I'm clicking on the send here you can see hi test 0 because I am not logged in so let's log in my login this module we have learned how to create and in the previous tutorial I have explained oh sorry refresh this page this is not working I've made some changes I think so let's try the Joomla default one users person view login yeah I have actually logged in so go to the open chat now if I write hi this is test from Bishu now let's inspect this so that you can see the Ajax request now I am clicking on the send so here you can see hi this is a test and my user id is 750 so we are successfully able to send ajax request in the next tutorial I will show you how to save uh, the data into the database thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel thank you